this video, we will continue with exam style questions of logarithmic and exponential functions. You will find this on page 432 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. The variables x and y satisfy the relation. And I'm going to make it bigger that we see that exponents better. 3 to the power y equals 4 to the power x plus 2. By taking logarithms, show that the graph of y against x is a straight line. Find the exact value of the gradient of this line. Okay, so just like we did when we transform a relationship to a straight line, we take logs on both sides. Then we use the uh, laws. We bring it down, we bring it down, we can multiply, multiply, we take uh, the y, so this is the y, so this one, we divide 3, we divide 3. Okay, so this is now, um, this is y equals, okay, can I show you? Um, I like always to show it like this. I don't see that color, make it blue. Okay, this is y, this is m, this is x, and this is c. Okay, so the gradient will be log 3 over log, or log 4 divided by log 3. Okay, and then we, we look at number b. Calculate the x coordinate of the point of intersection of the line, meaning this line, with the line y equals 2x. So we have two equations. We have this one and this one. And we are going to solve them simultaneously. Let me just move it up. Yes, I think I can move up to here. It's fine. Okay, so basically I'm just going to substitute equation 2 into equation 1. So every time I see a x, uh, the, uh, a y, in the place of y, I'm going to put 2x. That's what I did there. Okay, then I'm basically just going to simplify. I, I'm actually just sitting with log 3, so I multiply with the LCM log 3, log 3, log 3. Now this cancel out, this cancel out, and I'm having this, I'm having this, and I'm having this. Okay, then I bring all the ones with x over, I take x out, so it's 2 log 3 minus log, log 16. Okay, so because, and then um, basically, I can even I can even simplify this, but it's not necessary. So it's log 16 divided by this, and I get uh, uh, 3,42. I just want to see if they sit correct to something, correct to two decimal places. Okay, and that's how you do it. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number one. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, number one. The variables x and y satisfy the equation. 5, so it's y plus 1 equals 2 to the power of 3x. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to quickly, if I'm looking at this, I'm just going to do by taking logarithms, show that the graph of y against x is a straight line. So I take logs on both sides. And I do the same here. And then I use the power law, so I bring that y plus 1 down. And the 3x the same. This can be simplified to y log 5 plus log 5 equals 3x log 2. I take this one over, so it's y log 5 equals 3x uh, log 2 plus log 5. Uh, no, not plus log 5, sorry, I'm saying it incorrect. So I'm leaving this, so minus log 5. Okay, 
And now, what am I going to do now? So now, I'm just going to, um, I can take the X out there. I think it's going to help me actually. So I'm going, okay, I'm first going to take it out. And the reason why, uh, by taking show that the gradient of Y is a straight line. Okay, so actually, don't forget that, okay, we'll do it now. So I'm first going to show you this. I, I, it's just three log two. I'm just putting the X here. Do you see? So it just, I'm just taking the X out, minus log five. And now I divide log five, log five, log five. So I'm getting y is equal to, and now I'm sitting with 3 log 2 over log 5, and there is my x, minus 1. And then, so I said, show it's a straight line, then I'm just going to end up by saying, okay, let's do it now. So this is y, this is m, this is x, this, grab that sign, is c. So therefore, uh, y is equal to y, so let's just make it capital there, okay? So y is equal to y, um, we're going to say m is equal to 3 log 2 over log 5, and c is equal to negative 1, and that's how. And x, oh, I forgot of x. Could have already wrote it and x is equal okay let's rather make it a capital first x is equal to x okay so that's how i prove it's a straight line and then find the exact value of the gradient of this line and state the uh, state the coordinates of the point at which the line cuts the y-axis okay but this is very easy actually because what is, what is the exact value of m? You, this, this is this. You're not going to work it out. I'll show you now what you can also write it. You could have either write it like this, or you could have said log 2 to the power 3, which is 8. Or you could have said, um, oh, sorry, I forgot, I'll throw the log away. Or log 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. Log 8 over log 5. Okay, something like that. All, all are correct. Okay, that's exact. And then, where it cuts, where am I? Where it cuts the y-axis. Now, that's the value of c. So, what is, and they ask you, uh, always read your question, coordinate. And so, um, we can say y-intercept. And that will be 0 and negative 1 or a y coordinate, but I think the y-intercept is, is also going to work. So 0 and negative 1, and that's how it